Dear Travel Journal, at this moment I'm on my way to Vienna. I've been listening to Vienna by Billy Joel a lot this trip, and the lyrics have resonated with me so much that it only seemed fit that I record it to go with these clips, so here you go. Slow down, you crazy child, you're so ambitious for a juvenile, then if you're so smart, tell me why are you still so afraid? Where's the fire? What's the hurry about? You better cool it off before you burn it out. You've got so much to do and only so many hours in a day. But you know that when the truth is told, you can get what you want or you can just get old. You're gonna kick off before you even get it halfway through. When will you realize Vienna waits for you? It's a very long song and I promise to finish it eventually in this video, but this part needs a voiceover. We're in the hostel, hostel room tour, yeah, this is my bed. I am in Vienna! I just arrived at the hostel and the girl at the reception was so nice and I complimented her on her makeup and she was like, oh, thank you so much, I'm trying something new and I was like, it's really working for you. So that was like part one of Vienna is already amazing. <laughs> and the sun is setting and you don't really see the colors very well, but I love me a sunset. And toilet's really clean. Everything is really clean. And there's just cool things like little gadgets and things that just are really cool. Let me show you a few. This thing is a little nightlight, which goes on and you can direct it towards wherever you want it to go. I know a lot of other nightlights do this, but it's just cool to me. And we have all the options so usb usb c and just normal and you can put your book in here oh that was really loud something very cool is like you don't have to watch other people sleep you can just i've never seen such fancy curtains in a hostel so you can t have total privacy which is awesome and on the other side have it as well plus full-length mirror also almost never happens it is time to make the bed and make sure everything's in place one two and then it was time for dinner. I bought this in Prague to eat on the train, but I didn't get to it on the train, so I'm eating this for dinner in the hostel. Banana and peanut butter. I love it. So I just ate those two Kaiserbrötchen. And it is only 7 p.m., so I'm doing a little stroll down the street that our hostel is in just to see what's here. I'm not gonna make it too late. I think I'm gonna be back at the hostel by 8 and then make a plan for tomorrow. So my thoughts until now, neighborhood is, is good. But every two or three stores, it's kebab dinner. So, if you're in the mood for that, this is the street for that. I just took an amazing shower. I'm watching an episode of Married at First Sight, and I'm getting ready for an awesome night of sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, that was really fast. <laughs> I haven't been sleeping well. Every night I feel like someone is slamming a hammer on my head, but morning comes and nothing's wrong. Is that adrenaline? I don't know. I did put on my fanciest outfit that I brought because Vienna feels like the fanciest city I was going to visit. By fancy, I mean just a t-shirt dress and putting some makeup on my face. I also got this really cute mask in Berlin, so I'm really excited about that. I just bought a 24-hour unlimited line pass, which allows you to do as many of these scooter rides as you wish. Best decision ever. Slow down doing fine you can't be everything you want to be before your time although it's so romantic on the borderline tonight tonight too bad but it's the life you lead you're so ahead of yourself that you forgot what you need though you can see when you're wrong you can't always see when you're right you're right you got your passion got your pride don't you know that only fools are satisfied dream on but don't imagine they'll all come true when will you realize Vienna waits for you I just arrived at Schönbrunn so there it is there's a possibility to enter the castle but it's pretty expensive and we're on a budget so we're not doing that probably really really beautiful on the inside on the outside it is really big 
really, really big. But it's just not my color. Right now I'm standing in front of what I think normally is a fountain. It is still very beautiful, but there's no water. It's completely dry. I think it's because it's winter. I didn't really pick the right time to go to all these places because it's, one, too cold. <laughs> And two, a lot of these things are either under construction or not like in their usual state. All right, so these arches, I can imagine how magical these must be in spring or summer. Or maybe in fall when the leaves are not have not fallen yet and they're all brown and, and red and yellow. Right now, it's just dead. Slow down, you crazy child. Take the phone off the hook and disappear for a while. It's all right, you can't afford to lose a day or two When will you realize piano waits for you? It is time for some lunch, so I'm strolling down the Wiense Nashmart Nashmart? Nashmart? Strolling down Nashmart, looking for some food Hello, falafel! I got me some falafel, I saw her put on some olives, so we're gonna see if that's nice Sun Beautiful buildings. A step that I don't fall off of. Fall off of. Fall off of. Okay, that was really bad. I didn't. That wasn't even intended. But I'm off to Belvedere right now. Falafel was really nice, but it did make me a little bit nauseous because there were a lot of toppings on it and not necessary. I'm a little bit nauseous and I'm super full right now. But that does mean that we have enough energy to go visit a lot of great places right now. So let's go. And again, a fountain with no water, which is understandable. But look at the sun. It's really nice. And look at this. It's also really nice. <laughs> so this is Belvedere. It's really pretty. Bye. <laughs> and you know that when the truth is told, you can give what you want or you can just get old. You're gonna kick off before you even get out. When will you realize Piano waits for you When will you realize Piano waits for you Hello from the toilets of the National Library of Vienna Well, not Vienna, Austria, of course, because Vienna is just the capital Hi, come with me on this wonderful journey through the National Library of Austria this city, just like Prague, is so pretty and beautiful. The only thing that is really, really different is that it's far more spread out, so it's a lot further from each other. So in Prague, I could walk from one thing to the other a lot of the times, and right now it's just a long distance between everything. That's why we have the scooters. Enough talking, let's go see some pretty things. Okay, one sad thing. A few days ago at the flea market in Berlin, I bought this really cute mask, and I was like, yeah, this is cute. Let's go for this instead of like a plain one and now it's broken and I can't repair it so that's really sad so we're just gonna throw it away I still have my white and my black one so I'll continue using those but let's take a moment of silence for the flower mask the National Library was absolutely beautiful like something out of a fairy tale the way the light hit all of the beautiful statues and paintings it was Nothing short of breathtaking. I am not kidding. I'm here at Hundertwasser House, which is a very nice and colorful house. I just took some pictures like the true Instagrammer that I am. Not. <laughs> I'm trying to up my self timer uh, picture game. <laughs> so I have. I'm practicing a lot this trip. <laughs> I'm a sucker for color things. All this sightseeing has made me really hungry so it is time to get some wiener schnitzel i couldn't not get a schnitzel of course hmm that's a really good schnitzel <laughs> also an old man came in with his yellow booklet of vaccinations and i think that's just very cute because you have to show your proof proof of vaccination at the door and i just show my qr code on my phone all the time and this man just came in with that booklet i think that's very cute <laughs> During dinner, I wrote some postcards, so now it's time to post them. I am in the opera right now. There's a concert tonight from a soprano called Fizetta. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not really the biggest opera fan, but look at this. It's just anything 
theater, music, I, I love. So even though I will probably not understand what she's singing about, this will be awesome. This is so exciting. I'm on my own right now in the, this thing. That's my seat. There will probably be other people joining, but for now, it's 20 minutes till the show and nobody's here yet. I'm gonna enjoy the show now. I'm really happy and really grateful that I get to do this. The show just ended and it was very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Turns out I had the entire little private thing for myself, which was amazing because I didn't have to interact or be in other people's spaces. It was a soprano and it was a soliston concert. So that means that it's just her and a piano and I have no idea what her repertoire was, if it was all from the same opera or if this was just her repertoire with all kinds of different things. I believe I heard a couple of different languages, but I'm so sorry, I can't understand a word when someone is singing opera, which is completely my problem. I should have like made sure I had some lyrics or whatever, so I had no idea what she was singing about, but she looked like a fairy tale princess. She had like matching necklace, bracelets and earrings and they were sparkling in stage lights and she was wearing a very pretty fancy dress. Her hair was like in an updo so it was right here. She had a big like bun and at this side she had a flower clip which was also very beautiful. So I'm headed back to the hostel. It was a great night and it's time to sleep now. It's time to leave this beautiful city and head to the next one, Bratislava. To keep things cheap, I got myself a baguette, some fruit, and some yogurt at the supermarket. It was exactly what I needed, and I'm so content in this moment. Oh yeah. After wandering around the city for a few hours, I'm settling myself in a very nice and hip cafe. It was very expensive though, but alright, the coffee was good so I'll take it. <laughs> I read my book for a bit and I wrote my Bratislava postcard, which turned out to be the only one of the postcards that never got delivered, which is very sad. Look at these toilets. I'm in Bratislava at the moment and this is St. Elizabeth's Church and look how cute it is! It's baby blue! I don't think I've ever seen a church this cute like I've seen a lot of beautiful churches and big churches and all kinds of churches but not a cute church like this I think this is one of the cutest churches I've ever seen look at the baby blue color! Quickly making sure to get my vitamins in and getting ready for new adventures we will meet again in Budapest. <laughs>